A uh, short introduction to the um, chamber I work with. You can read it also in the slides you got. Um, main point is we represent the Austrian business sector. The businesses are members by law. 99% um, of that are SMEs. Um, that's the reason why we focus on small and medium-sized enterprises. We also represent the financial sector, um, like banks. Um, this is to remind you that the main financing um, source of enterprises are the own resources of the company. That means personal savings, cash flow, retained earnings. Um, in the red you see bank loans. Um, on the bottom you have 2009 and on top 2014, so it decreased slowly the, the share of, um, uh, of the significance of the, the, the bank loans. The question was here, um, how did you finance your investments uh, in the last year? And um, about 23.5 companies said by bank loans. And uh, in the middle you see cash flow, which is very important, and then you have the own equity of the company, and then on the end, you have uh, public support and, and other sources of finance. Of course, if, if you look deeper, it differs then depending on the size of the company and what has been done, what kind of investment um, has been done. Um, interestingly, um, the companies are very interested in alternatives to, um, um, to, to finance. 24% uh, plan to use um, alternative finance. Um, if you ask them, and the share for younger companies is even higher. Mm -hmm. Now it works. <laughs> um, interestingly, if we look at the US, um, the situation is quite similar. Um, sorry, there happened something with the transfer of the slide, so I will translate that. Um, on the, the biggest share is for personal savings, 29%. Then retained earnings, 23rd, 23%. It's like in Europe, uh, where the own resources of the company are the most important uh, source of finance. Uh, then you have credit card financing. That's maybe a bit different, a bit uh, uh, difference from Europe. Credit card financing with 19%. Um, then 19% loans, lines of credit, and mortgages. And then down this 1%, you have um, equity investment, leasing, and trade credit. Um, I have to say that the question was here, what was your primary funding type uh, in a given year? It was 2013, I think. So if the question would have been, what was your primary funding type during the whole life cycle of the enterprise, maybe the share of the equity investment would be, have been a little bit higher. but. You see it's also here a uh, more lower, lower percentage in the US. Um, so now, why I'm still very positive on the project of Capital Market Union. Uh, first, uh, the businesses, what are the businesses interested in? The businesses are interested in the broad choice, choice of financing instruments um, to have the data available. And the situation um, of SMEs is very difficult. There's no, no um, standardized SME, yeah, they're very different. Very, it's a very heterogeneous group of companies with different um, needs, and therefore it's very important. Um, of course, SMEs are very interested, but uh, we should not forget many of them maybe cannot deliver uh, the return of investment investors expect, and maybe they have also some um, information gaps. Um, yes, innovation finance is, I think, an important aspect. So, um, what my personal opinion are the priorities? Um, it's the reduction of cross-border barriers, obstacle in regulation, um, taxation was already mentioned, the different taxation of debt and equity. Um, um, I think there has to be done, some, done something, but I think that has to be done primarily on the member state level. Um, what currently is also um, an interesting topic is, of course, crowdfunding, where we see uh, double and three-digit growth in this market, but we have uh, still uh, different national regulations. Uh, for instance, um, in peer-to-peer -peer lending, um, some uh, supervisory authorities say it's um, 
a banking business, so you need a banking license, some other banking authorities, and even the European banking authorities say, you don't need a banking uh, license because that's not a credit institute's activity. Um, so I think um, we should work to, to streamline a little bit this <laughs> Um, and unify these opinion, uh, opinions on different aspects on financing um, with obstacles in regulation, a alternative investment fund management directive. I specifically mean, which is also a problem in, in Austria, uh, there's the option for member states um, to forbid for private investors to invest in venture capital funds. And this, and why forbid for a private investor to invest in something? Uh, the private investor knows um, it's a risky thing. Um, yes. Um, further topics: um, securitization. I'm cautiously positive because of the arguments also in the action plan. The question is, um, what's the, the the effect on the um, pricing? Um, and if you think of SME securitization, is that possible also with, without public support? Because there, we have seen many models which were supported by some guarantees or in public money. Capital requirements for institutional investors. Um, the action plan um, says we should look at capital requirements for institutional investors investing in infrastructure. Uh, but I think it's also a topic um, if we look at investments in private equity and, and venture capital funds. Um, also because in the, in the US, institutionals play a very big role in the market, in the VC market. Um, um, yeah, EU funds for European venture capital funds, uh, the details would be interesting. Maybe uh, it's meant that the FC will do something. Uh, what's also interesting is uh, that uh, the European Union, that he, now there are deliberations to make new exemptions um, in the capital requirement directive for credit unions. The question is how far this exemption could range. And um, we shouldn't forget that Basel, that the Basel Committee also has some deliberations about developing uh, the Basel III framework further. Uh, there was a paper in um, spring, in, I guess in January or March, um, where they had some, for instance, the question that the, the reduced capital requirements um, for SME loans, um, but we haven't heard anything about that uh, later from the Basel Committee, so maybe this is obsolete, I don't know. <laughs> um, yes, feedback on the credit decision um, is, I think, something which the SME associations and the banking federations should discuss nearer. Okay, sorry. Somehow, uh, now it works. So the conclusion, um, I, I also think, like the others, um, the commission did an excellent job um, with this action plan. I think it's very important um, to my mind that the member states uh, see these as the common goals. So, so this is not only uh, capital market union is not a project alone for the EU level, but um, member states should be on board and support it also on the national level with their regulation. With their regulations, for instance, if they do tax reforms, they shouldn't forget there is a common goal, capital market union. We should not forget that there are some SMEs um, who are not, um, who cannot meet uh, risk capital investors' expectations or we should respect that. Some of them do not want to have outside investors. We should respect that. Uh, therefore, the focus must be both on risk, risk capital and loans, but then this is also already uh, implemented in the um, action plan. And last but not least, I want to point out as a chamber that, of course, the activities by business associations and chambers is important also in that respect. Uh, in informing the companies um, about um, alternative ways of finance, about what that means, what advantages or maybe also disadvantages um, that has. Thank you.